Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Grand Power Q100. I became immediately interested in this gun when I learned that Grand Power was coming out with their first striker fired handgun. And I've often stated that I love the Excalibur by Grand Power. I've owned this gun for well over a year now. I've got a lot of rounds through it and it is extremely reliable and very accurate. One of the things I like about the Excalibur is that it has a rotating barrel that really softens up the shot and the single action trigger pull is right around three pounds. So I was hoping that the Q100 would share some of the same features and if we look at the frames, they're pretty identical. And also, the Q100 has a rotating barrel, which once again softens up that shot. But they do share the same 15 round magazines. All right, these are interchangeable. And the Q100, right out of the box, was extremely accurate. I took it to the range already, and I really enjoyed it, its accuracy and its reliability. Put 150 rounds through it, no problem whatsoever. And it, it shot just like the Excalibur, except for this is a striker fired gun. Now, the MSRP on this is 570, but I'm already seeing it on Gun Broker for the mid 400s. I saw buy now prices for 450, and I think it's a good deal. In the padded hard case, you get a total of two 15 round magazines and additional three back straps with the Q100. The, the one that's already installed on the gun fits my hand perfectly, so I'm perfectly happy with that. But it does have some features here. It is an all ambi gun. So we've got, you know, the mag release, the slide stop on both sides, making it left-handed friendly. Regular three dot sights, but it does have a striker fire indicator right there. Okay, so the gun is unloaded. That will go away when the slide is no longer charged. Front serration for your press check, kind of a light spring there. Regular rear serrations right there. Accessory rail. But the thing that I enjoyed the most when I checked it out at shot, I put a picture up on my Instagram of the Q100, is the trigger and the pull on it is extremely light. Now it does have a trigger bar safety right there, kind of used to that with many of the striker fires, but right around four pounds and that trigger will break and there's hardly a wall. There's your reset right there. There's hardly a wall. You put some pressure on it and it just breaks. Very nice at the range. I, I tell you what, I I enjoyed it and the trigger was extremely quick as well. Let's go ahead and get a trigger measurement here. You have to hold the trigger bar or, or the you have to hold the trigger scale right there. And what do we see? Four pounds exactly. And I've been consistently measuring the trigger right at four pounds, and that's pretty light considering many of the other striker fire guns are five and a half to seven and a half pounds i tell you what guys i like it it shot very well the trigger was nice the features are very consistent with grand power and i've come to know and love grand power handguns to disassemble this gun it's it's a simple process all you have to do is pull the slide back once you're in this position all you have to do is drop these takedown levers and pull back a little more and off comes the slide and we'll see that the recoil spring and guide rod stays within the frame and there's your polymer frame and here we have a four and a quarter inch barrel and then your slide and there's your firing pin safety very nice setup I already mentioned that I took this to the range let's go ahead and roll some of that footage right now Here we have an unloaded Q100. We'll go ahead and put it on the scale. And it's weighing in at 29 and a quarter ounce. 
Here we have a full magazine with 15 rounds of target loads. And the Q100's weighing in at 35 and 3 quarters ounces. So there it is, guys. Grand Power's first striker fired handgun called the Q100. Pretty awesome gun. I really enjoyed it at the range, and you'll be seeing more of this in the future. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.